All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be a really irritating video for me. So I drive the Queen daily to work, and uh, over the weekend I decided I was gonna pull the supercharger back off just to save some wear and tear on it. Whatever, you know? I figured the Queen would be all right. I left all the piping hooked up, and you know, she doesn't like that, and I knew that, but the first couple times I'd tried, you know, driving around the block, no big deal. Car was a little slow, because it had a long way to suck all that air in, but you know, no big deal, whatever. So I got in the Queen yesterday, and I went to go to work, and she's coughing and sputtering the whole way. AFR here is showing, you know, so rich that it's blanking out. And I'm just like, okay, no big deal. I'll uh, pull the pipe off when I get to work, drive it home, no problem. Well, the queen had other ideas. So I get probably about a half mile from work and I come to a stop sign and <laughs> nothing. I got no pop. So, I mean, I'm a little low on fuel. Maybe I ran out of gas. Most likely not. It looks like I'm knocked the spark out due to how rich it was running. Because here I am in the parking lot of work, doing some parking lot mechanic work. Pulled the spark plugs out. They were filthy rich. There was so much black soot on them things that they really couldn't fire. So I sprayed all four cylinders down with some brake clean, sprayed all four spark plugs with some brake clean, went to hit the key after I put the supercharger back on, and uh, I got yin 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 pop pop pop. It went to start up, but with the supercharger it always takes two to three attempts. Well, since then I haven't had another shot. So, here I am, sitting in the parking lot at work, trying to make the queen work so that I can get home and probably go through the ignition system again because it's, it's been a little minute since she's had plug wires. I mean, I, I replace the plug wires every three years or so just because I'm rough on a vehicle and so is Florida. So she may be due for some more plug wires, but she's got brand new E3 spark plugs in there. So the spark plugs should, in theory, be okay. They're about a year old at most. Um, I mean, you know, we'll see. So right now I'm just going to be chilling, sitting here in the queen, waiting for this AFR gauge to tell me that it's no longer reading a fat condition in the O2 sensor. We'll see what happens. All right, you guys, so continuing our uh, Celica dilemma, we uh, had to unload the 77 Ranchero off of the trailer so that I could have the trailer to pick the Celica up in order to get the 77 off of the trailer. I had to use the beast as an anchor point and pull the 77 off of the trailer by myself and then I've got to go take the trailer to work with me today and bring back my broken race car and hopefully figure out what the hell is wrong with it so that uh, they can make it to the next event. Because, you know, race car life, mechanic life, whatever you want to call it, it's sometimes just annoying. So here's the trailer. It's empty, it's ready to go. And uh, we'll see what happens when I get the Celica.